A people ingrid here, 1v1 Calderis Refinery, blue side. Spicy Havoc with a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fighting in melee begins with a refractor shield like the wavy sword around. Gonna do it in a second, there he goes. Got a sword. Red side, Fathom with a Warp Spider X arcade teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat. Great for capping and harassing with some powerful control. This is probably some kind of Oathway scheme. Triple Guardians up. Looks like Spicy Havoc took a while to get his Sentinel rolling, but it's now rolling. Oh, this might be one of the new Cadian Elite schemes. I think it is. These guys have stubble. Scruffy gets. Sentinel is going to charge towards the east side, maybe run into the Warp Spider X arc here. And Triple Guardians can really mess you up in Tier 1. They're like 8. Point, I think it's 8.75 DPS per model, and you've got 15 of them shooting at you. The Lord Commissar is not going to like it, neither is the Sentinel. For reference, guards are going to like 4.1 DPS, I think, ranged with those Laz guns. I mean, they can get a Sergeant, but I think he's got even worse ranged DPS than these fellas with the Laz guns. He's got like 3 DPS with his little pistol. Poor little Sergeant, because it does give him a couple of more models though, at least. And they have the same health as Guardians, but I think that sheer DPS of the Guardians wins that firefight early on. If they're like out of cover and shooting at each other, which is not really something that happens. The Lord Commissar's got in here. Sentinels alongside. Seem to catch those two Guardians a little bit unawares. And gets a couple of models, a little bit of a stomp on retreat. Might struggle to get the stomps here with triple Guardians and a Warp Spider. So why not get them on retreat? Make them stay in base and heal for a second or so longer. Guardsmen have to flee. Warp Spider can now get a decap. He loves decapping this guy. One of his favourite things to do. Lord Commissar's going to get a decap of his own. On the VP, shield up. Shield back down again so he can regenerate his energy. The shield. Shield you by causing your energy to drain rather than your health. I think there's a 5 to 1 ratio usually. So you lose 5. Use 1 energy for each 5 health. There we go. Which is not bad. And of course makes him intrinsically tankier, even more so as he levels up because he gets more energy for his shield. Although you've got to balance that with your energy management of your abilities and stuff. Guardians grab their VP back and it's a shuriken, no surprise there. Going to see catechins in response. I suppose we could see spotters, but I feel like catechins is basically always the way to go right in a 1v1. Spotters are easier to use and maybe... A bit more useful in a team game when you're fighting over a contested point or something where catechins might get melted if they try to get close and do stuff cool. But in a 1v1, surely you want those catechins rolling. There is the shuriken cannons going to set up, limited firing up, going to suppress the commissar. Seems like he's content just to waste these guys' time. Hawk Spider gets his VP though. Guardsmen here are capping. Sentinel's going to decap the VP back at least. Warp Spider backs off those Guardsmen. Should just be in there meleeing them, I think. Lord Commissar is eventually persuaded to leave and has the Carapace Armor, which buffs this guy when he uses Inspire Courage. Also gives it a lower cooldown and energy cost and gives us a bunch of health and stuff. Pretty solid choice out in Tier 1. These guys need to run. Might actually need to retreat, actually. There we go. No battle equipment though for the Guardians early on. And it is indeed Catechin Devils on the way for Spicy Havoc. Might get a triple cap here. Fathom. If they move it. Warp Spider's on the mid. Sentinel's going to try and hold up these guys with the Guardian, the Guardsmen. But I don't know if it's going to work. That is a Shuriken after all. Catechins are out though. Oh, look at this. They've got like backpacks and stuff but they just look like Cadians. That's weird. Actually makes it kind of tough to, to pick them out at a glance. I mean, the backpacks do help a little bit, but you've got to be careful. You've got to make units readable still. They might need to adjust that. Maybe just give them the bandanas still or something. Doesn't seem like Fathom is complaining. I guess maybe I'll get used to it. And you do have the indicator there to help you out. Capuchins are a very versatile infantry squad. There's some of their disruption with the grenade launcher there. Can also do a shotgun blast for short range disruption and suppression. 
can lay explosives, can smoke their allies with a smoke grenade and, and protect them that way. Lots of stuff we can do with catechins. Need to be careful with ability micro and timing and positioning though, of course. Not as easy to use as artillery spotters and they can, of course, disrupt the Guardian weapon team and the blob of Guardians if they all stay around it. Gonna need to be careful with that. Heavy gauge is in. Heavy gauge filament there just stunning the Lord Commissar, but the shield takes the brunt of it. Get say did he get a smack in there? I don't know. But he teleported away the walk spider. Didn't like it. Didn't like the sword action. Sentinel gets a decap. Has the ground pound, of course. There's tier two for Fathom. Into what? Into Wraith God? Does have the Shuriken support to stop the Lord Commissar just running in. And they're not easy to disrupt. So Wraith God would be a good shout. Maybe Wraith God into a Falcon to support them would be pretty cool. Or the Falcon first, maybe even. To punish the slow tech of Spicy Havoc. There's the Inspire Courage, doubling the damage of these guards and makes for a very quick power bash with that flamer. They don't want to steal it, it looks like. Catechins with a grenade launcher and then they run. Dropped a couple of models though. Here comes the Lord Commissar. I thought he was going to try and get in there before this guy could set up, but it's quite low. Improvised explosive goes off. Pulled them into that. That was nice. And none of the Guardians have their battle equipment. 384 to 443. I mean, it allowed Fathom to get the quick tier 2, but can they take advantage? They have a chunk of power. I think they should go Falcon here. There's a stomp. Maybe Falcon into Warp Spiders. Warp Spiders will be able to teleport in and tie up any Stormtroopers that hit the field and try to get onto your Falcon. The Warp Spider Exarch, of course, could do that as well. Here he is, trying to tie up these guys in melee so they can't burn these generators down. There you go. Has a special attack, this guy. And some of the ranged heroes do. The Lord the General has one. This guy has one. The Hive Tyrant has one when he gets his Venom Cannon. Nice thing to have. Didn't see it there. Typically you see that guy teleport in and immediately do, do a special attack. Tier 2 now for Spicy Havoc. There's another Inspire Courage. Really wants those buffed up flamers. It's doing some work here. And of course because of Carapace Armor, the Lord Commissar himself gets some buffs. 15 seconds it seems for a damage increase. But it's ready to leave by the shuriken and all of the Eldar shuriken pew pew. Still blobs them up quite a lot though. Catechins can continue to punish that perhaps. These guys can get a Sarge in tier two. No sign of it being queued up. We got a Wraith Lord on the way for Fathom. That's pretty fun. So we might see the Sarge on this guys because he gets a Melter Gun. Not sure the DPS of that Melter. It might be like, I'm guessing around 20 maybe DPS. It might be a bit more. There it is. I wonder if it tells me in the tooltip. Once it gets locked in. 384. So 401. In fact, does it even give them... I don't think it goes into the unit card. No, it doesn't. It's a squad leader. Got missile on to Sentinel. It's kind of brave. Might be tough to keep this thing alive. In fact, it might go down right now. That was pretty close. They had the uh, Warp Spider Exarch global buff on them. They might have got it there. I've got the name of that buff right now. But it's cool. It's increased range and DPS, I believe. Kind of like Guide. Oh, Chimera. Okay. Still got to deal with this Wraith Lord. Hasn't seen it yet, of course. It's gone for the shoulder mounted Shuriken Cannon. And I assume this thing is going to be a Bright Lance soon to fight the Chimera. 353 to 401. Crack shot. There it is. Crack shot's the name of the uh, Warps of Rexarts global thing. I say there it is. Like you can see it. I just remembered it. It's popped in the head. They get in there eventually. Guardians having a chat while they cap the wreck point. What do you think, fellas? Should we get some battle equipment? Nah, we're fine. Got lasers. Got Eldar laser things. I don't think he's seen the Wraith Lord still. Warp spiders shooting at generators. 
actually doing a decent job bashing him, you know, by himself. It's level one. Lord Komasa must have a level, or he's inside the Chimera somewhere. You now need two units inside Chimeras for all of the um, all of the extra turrets to fire. I think that was a two two nine eight change. Lord Komasa's there. The rest of the guards are all there as well. Komasa's just hanging out though. Did he level? Yeah, he's level, he's level two. He's got a power sword. Look at him go. So Sentinel can threaten the Wraithord from range using the crack missiles of the missile launcher. So cracks are what? 15 DPS explosives. I mean, as I've said before, DPS values on anti-vehicle weapons aren't always the most useful when they're a slow firing weapon. Misses the special attack. I mean, maybe use your sword for that, buddy. Instead of your backhand. Maybe you'd hit him. Going for that central cap. We have Commissars on the Guardsmen. And those guys can actually fight. They have more DPS than a tactical marine, those Commissar fellas. Like 15 point something ranged. And I think it's 26 or so melee. Gravelly voiced catechins. Laid down an explosive charge and well imp improvise explosive I guess and they can't see it heavy weapon squad going for an auto cannon good damage to all targets will help whittle down the wraith lord not quite as effective against vehicles as a las cannon would be but more versatile las cannons can't really hit infantry these guys have been spotted I wonder if they're running to the improvised explosive here that shoulder mounted shuriken is nasty Almost 47 piercing DPS just on that thing. And he's also got that wrist mounted shuriken catapult. There goes the explosive. For those that don't know, they don't play the game, you have to click it to activate it. As the as the Imperial Imperial Guard player. So timing is key, it doesn't go off automatically. And you can miss a great opportunity if you're not just not paying attention to it. It's Wraith Guard now from Fathom. Should be pretty effective. We'll see if they can control the Lord Kumasar that's running in. We've got a Bright Lance here. Gets a couple of shots on the Sentinel. Not the Chimera. A little bit isolated though there. 291 to 362 on the VPs. Big armies for these players to manage. Spicy Havoc having to manage Sentinel pathing and Katachin's abilities as well. Holding the mid. Auto cannon should rip through these guardians here. Well, rip through a couple of them. Yeah, those guys dropped two models pretty fast. Still no battle equipment for those guys. I mean, you don't always need to get the upgrades and stuff. The cost does really add up. And they've done well with their resources. Wraith Guard and Wraith Lord. Here's the Wraith Guard. Have these terrifying Wraith Cannons that can do that. Good damage to all targets smaller area of effect and they suppress infantry relatively short range and they are vulnerable to melee they have their little wall up buddy in there to help them move faster and see further spirit seer i call him pretty sure that's his actual name i'm not making it up there's the heavy gauge great lord is not in melee here i mean i can understand putting him on Ranged stunt, so he shoots this, but the Lord Commissar is right in front of him, stunned. Should have been smacking him, I think. The Ghost Blade Sword will do good damage to enemy vehicles. It's heavy melee type. But it's going to be tough getting close to the Chimera and taking those swings. On the power again is Spicy Havoc. Done work for those flamers, those fellas. And they got a Wraith Lord to deal with though. And a Flamer is basically the worst thing you can try and take out a Wraith Lord with. Holy crap, that's painful. 291 to 298 on the VPs. 2 to 1 for Spicy Havoc. Improvise explosives on the VP. Why not? There it is. Kind of boxed in a little bit here, Fathom. Goes tier 3. I wonder if they're considering a Seer Council here. Would allow them to go on the front foot a bit more. Just kind of run them in, soak up damage, disrupt things, and then your ranged can follow in. 
but I might just have their eyes on fire prism time. I don't think a D cannon would be a good shout at this stage. Maybe. One one really good singularity is maybe all you need to, to change the momentum of this. Adichin's trying to keep the pressure up on this side. Gonna get a decap on this wreck point here. Right lance decapping. Here comes a Lord Commissar. He's not happy with that. He's not having any of it. Smack. Oh, it doesn't get a kill. Raid Lord backing off him. They're very wary of the Sentinel, this guy. Doesn't want to get sucked in, as melee walkers can often get sucked in. Trying to chase down a ranged unit, and they find himself way too far. Sentinel used the wrong missile type there, though. Had the frag missiles equipped, which you don't want to use against vehicles. There's the heavy gauge, and there's Wraithlord melee. Because he's stunned, can't actually put the shield up. And almost goes down. In fact, might still go down. Does have the Emperor's Wrath. One more burst from the Wraith Lord does get the Lord Commissar down. Just purchased Emperor's Wrath, and that thing is expensive. So that's going to be kind of annoying, because he has to repurchase the Lord Commissar now. Smack, that was a weird green effect we saw there on that melee attack. What was that all about? 291 to 228. There we go, crack missile time. It is a Seer Council from Fathom. I think they're going to do some good work here. There's no suppression. The Lord Commissar can't really fight them by himself if he's even alive. What are they going to do, really? I guess the Catechons can disrupt them. They're being sneaky over there. 291 to 215. Maybe we'll see some Bulgrins in response. That'll be cool. I mean, they can't fight them 1v1, but they could use the static shield thing. Or use your shield. And suppress the crap out of them get stuck in alongside the Lord Commissar and, and then help shoot him down. It is going to be Seer Council. Auto cannons far up enough to get some shots in. Still boxed in though is Fathom. Needs some work from the Seer Council, that's for sure. I mean, 100 VPs in it isn't a huge amount, but it's starting to get to the point. Once you hit 100 VPs on your own counter, Gotta be careful. Here's the Seer Council. A squad of warlocks with power weapons. Which which blades, I guess. And they all jump on you. And power melee the crap out of you. Decent chunk of hit points as well. 500 per model and they can level up, of course. There's all the jumping. That auto cannon might be dead. In retreat and knocked over. Can't even move, goes down. Wraith Guard needs to be careful with their Wraith Cannons not to do friendly fire. But instant impact from the Seer Council. Look at these Guardsmen going into melee with the Wraith Guard. They've got Plasma Guns. But now the Seer Council are here. Oh wow, Emperor's Wrath just took out a Bright Lance. Seer Council now flee. Only dropped one model in that. Not sure how much they are to reinforce. Maybe we can see here. Wraith Lord was busy, I guess. Maybe they should have sent in the Seer Council alone like that, but they did assassinate the, the auto cannon fellas. Frag missiles trying to hit stuff. Where is the warp spider right now? He's back near his own VP. Lehman Russ on the way for Spicy Havoc. There's that heavy gauge again. Wraith Lord's on him. Taking missile hits though. I think the, I think the Lord Commissar is done for here. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure if they could have got away. Maybe if they retreated immediately when the heavy gauge was used, maybe they would have got away. The council still haven't reinforced yet, so I can't see how much it is. There we go. 12 power, eh? That's not cheap. I mean, understandably, there is a seer council. Wraith Lord tries a special attack against the Sentinel. Not, not a good idea. And now has to back off 291 to 121. Fathom, though, breaks through, gets on the central VP. Improvised explosive is still there, but typically not worth using them on a single entity. I guess it could knock him off the cat, perhaps. Here's a Lehman Russ. Goes to Vanquisher immediately. Used to shoot down enemy large targets. Gives it increased range and DPS, and it keeps the little Laz cannon on the front there as well. 
Bunch of repairs. Sentinel's done really well. Level 3 this fella. But we have the 2 to 1 for Fathom. Maybe they could have teleported up here and got a decap. It doesn't seem like there's any, there was anything else here to, to cap with. He's a single guardian. Gets a decap on this wreck point. Doesn't take it. What's he up to? Oh, he wants to repair, I think. He wants to repair this Wraith Lord all by, him lone, all by his lonesome. There he goes. Just thinks about it really hard from about five meters away and he gets repaired. So council being cool in this light cover crater here. That little yellow pip you see behind them. Beside their health bar tells you they're in light cover. Warp Spider almost got the cap on that wreck point. Couldn't quite manage it. Now knows there's a Lehman Russ. Might need another Bright Lance. And then just be really careful about that Emperor's Wrath. Maybe try and get the Death Spinner, Death Gauge, Heavy Gauge filament. Those are the words I need in order before the Emperor's Wrath can go in. Garthon straight on the VP. Sneaky Catatons put in more improvised explosive ups. Is there a limit to how many of these improvised explosives you can have up? But a level, almost level 4 Commissar, almost level 3 Warp Spider Exarch. Chimera's level 2 as well as Unwell. So Wraith Guard. Stay near the Wraith Lord, I guess. Because if the Commissar comes in tries to tie them up, you're going to get smacked a lot. Frag Missiles, though. Didn't do too much there. Well, Commissar's going in. Not sure if this is a good idea, my guy. Gets heavy gauged. Maybe he was looking for the Emperor's Wrath there, because I don't think the range on it is, hu is huge. Doesn't tell me what range you can use it at, but maybe you're trying to get close to use it there and got heavy gauged. Walk Spider comes in to mess with these guards on that, harassing his power. Got a gen and a node, but does get rid of him. Nobody's capping the VP right now. It's Fire Dragons for Fathom, which is cool. 40 power for those fellas. They are super effective though when you use that Dragon's Fury thing, whatever it's called. I think they start with that, right? They don't need the um, squad leader for it. Oh, the Warp Spider just got shot to death by a Chimera. That was weird. Adderton's trying to grab it. Good, good uh, grenade launcher usage though. See a council getting in. Well, one of them is, and then he dies. Here come the rest of them. Man, it took a lot of damage. That impro the uh, grenade launcher was awesome. He's putting the improvised explosive now. Look how much that launcher messed up the Seer Council. They couldn't even get into melee. Wraith Guard doing some good work though. Still got Guardians here. And has still got the Wraith Guard. There's an Eldritch really well placed between the vehicles. It's going to get them both, I think. It does. But can they kill any of them? There's a rocket run now. Just as the Fire Dragons show up. They are able to get shots in. Apparently this... The Exarchs... Oh, he's gone to the Flamer. His other weapon's called a Fire Pipe or something, they said. They're going to get the kill. There we go. Dragon's Fury gives them... It gives them perfect accuracy. They can shoot stuff on the move really well. And I think it lowers the cooldown of their weapons. But when you get the Exarch in, he gives them extra weapon range, which is great. And of course, gets a weapon of his own. Wraithlord might go down here, or maybe not. It's only a Chimera. The Lehman Russ and the Sentinel both dealt with. This Wraithlord has kind of been a boss. Can't Bright Lance this thing down though. 250 to 115. Spicy Havoc down to 4 units. Five Dragons with an instant impact. And a really well done Eldritch Storm. Massive chunks of damage on these guards on first swing. Ouch. Now's the time to do your special attack, but he doesn't do it. Here's the repairs. Look out for the Emperor's Wrath again. Adderton's doing their thing and frustrating the Seer Council. Expect the shotgun blast to come in as well. Nope. Didn't come in in time, I guess. 
as Inspire Courage on the Guardsman, and they are kicking some ass. Level 4 with Flamers. Emperor's Rackle's back there on the Wraith Lord. Did it kill some Guardians there as well that were repairing or something? Maybe. I was looking at the Guardsman with their crazy double damage level 4 Flamers. Catechins is not a good place for you to be, fellas. Are they hoping to get some friendly fire off the Wraith God? They survived it somehow. They took like three or four hits from the Wraith Lord, who's almost level four and now, quite rightly, deservedly so, gets the Wraith Bone upgrade so he can heal himself. Poor bastard. Fire Dragons. Oh, there's that Fire Pike thing. Apparently, it's even longer in their tabletop models or something. Miniatures, whatever you call them. Neiman Rust number two on the way. Chimera has been repaired up, level three. Great Lord. Needs to be careful, doesn't want to venture too far forward. Down to 69 victory points is Fathom. Needs to cap. There we go. Wraith God can cap. Fire Dragon's coming mid to help put pressure on the Chimera. Maybe it's been repaired though. Lord we'll Kamas are now level 5. Whoop, Spider X suck. Still down here, and that's a pain in the arse. Poor Fathom. This guy could be. Grabbing some caps and stuff while everything else fights. What was that? Oh, it was mines being dropped in over there. And I think the Seer Council are going to run right into them if they're activated. There we go. Boom. Oh, it set off the improvised explosive as well. Is it worth getting Rangers up just for that? It might be. Especially if you can get some good kinetic pulses off. Wraith Lords need a bit more healing. Not sure what the cooldown is on this. 30 to 69. Fire Dragons going in. Seem to be focusing on the Lehman Russ. I believe it's about... Is that crack shot now? Ouch. Chimera goes down. I believe it's about 14 DPS for each of those fusion guns. And the uh, Exarch fella gets the same fusion gun. Emperor's Wrath on the Wraith Guard. They kind of whipped it off. Oh no. Wraith Lord can go down. Trying to chase the Lehman Russ in. Just melted into the ground there. Big old explosion. 206 to 69. Here come more Wraith card for Fathom. See a council still up though. Knocking him down. The ability knocked back on that leap, I guess. 198 to 69. And huge amounts of DPS. Can he get one model before he dies? Nope. Don't actually know what this here council's DPS is. I always say how great their damage is, but I don't know what their value is. They can just run into all these mines now. Leave it behind. We're ready here, sir. Go ahead. We improvise explosive on the VP to annoy someone. Are they going to repurchase that Spider X up? They could be doing some great stuff on this VP. See, so Council can't take on everything. Lehman Rust now in play. Here come the Fire Dragons, though. Looks like they have lost the X Arc fella. But here's the Dragon Scale Armor. Is that crap shot again? Or, or is that just them popping the Dragon's Fury thing? I'm not sure what the Dragon's Fury effect looks like. New effects on their guns, of course, in 298, which look cool. Kashikin on the way for Spicy Havoc. This is a Bulgrins, damn it. Or a Psyker. 186 to 69. Wraith Guard with some good old shots. What level are those guys as well? Almost level 4, these fellas. I'm not sure what they're shooting at. Guardsmen just getting into melee. Just please don't fight those Wraith Cannons at us, fellas, they're saying. Some mines dropped in. And why not? Pathogens might regret this. If those guys all turn and shoot, they could wipe them out. Got a bunch of fellas over there. They're killing models with their shotguns here. And they are sure to retreat before they fire the first shot. See a council being knocked over by mines. 169 to 6900 VPs in it. Where are those Kashikins? They're just hanging out. I guess they're going to get plasma guns. 
Because I don't think they can knock out. They can't knock over the Wraith Guard with the grenade launchers. Maybe they want to grenade launch these guys. But they'll be moving too fast for it, most likely. 156 to 69. They might just want to get plasma. And try to outshoot the Wraith Guard. Wait until they shoot something else and plasma them down. Here's the Lord Commissar. Doesn't want to cap mid. There he goes. So your council can't do much to Lehman Russ. Our melee isn't the ideal thing to go after a tank with. Here are the Kashikin. They do have faster capping with their sergeant. And they are indeed getting their plasma guns in. Those guys can switch guns, switch weapons freely. Limited to one these days though. Oh, come on, side gets the decap. Now needs to run. And does. That could be a really clutch play. Look at the map now as well. The warp spider's still down. There's the double. They are going to get their VP back. Can the Wraith Guard stabilize the mid with their big old Wraith Cannons? Are they level 4? They must be. They are level 4, these guys. Are the fellas still level 1, of course? Try and get the Kassikin out of there. I say there's an Eldritch. And Spicy Havoc hasn't spotted it again. Might wipe out the Catachins. They only survive because of level 4. Here come the Seer Council. Can they finish off the Lehman Russ? They can. That's crack shot on the Wraith Guard. Used it quite a lot in this game. Here come your Fire Dragons. Level 3 Fire Dragon. Bloody hell. Crack shot on Wraith Guard is really nasty. Level 4 Wraith Guard as well. I don't think it was needed to get the Lehman Rust there because of the stun, but nice to have, innit? Infantry didn't like it afterwards. See a council emanating this 15% ranged damage resistance aura, which the Fire Dragons are benefiting from there. That's that blue aura thing. 135 to 22 on the VPs. Fire Dragons get on the VP. This needs to be exploded here. They're going to probably wait until it's right near... Oh! They shrug it off because of the Dragon Scale Armor. Did not get knocked over. That's pretty cool. More Wraith Guard for Fathom. Oh, they lost them. They lost one of the Wraith Guard squads. Didn't even notice. 116 to 22. There's a double cap for Fathom. And Seer Council has really done a huge amount of work since they came onto the field. Level 4 up to 3802 hit points. It's a lot to try and shoot down when they're running at you like 50 miles an hour, whatever the hell they do, and then jump in. Kashukin. Might be worth trying to wheel those guys around and get a quick decap. Look, Kumasar runs in, maybe. There he goes. Ties up one of them. Ties up the high level Wraith Guard. Here comes the Seer Council, though, out of the webway into a mine. Wraith Guard flee. Seer Council get disrupted. There's a shotgun blast. There it is. Only knocked over one fella, but it suppressed the whole squad. Out, and then the Wraith God exploded the catechins. They survived, though. I think it's worth keeping the Lord Commissar on this on the uh, Wraith God in this situation. Because that those Wraith cannons are nasty. Did get rid of the Rasir Council, though. Level 4 Guardsman with Plasma. Look at the resources. Spicy Havoc is floating here. It's a hell of a lot. 60 to 22. They're so focused on fighting, they aren't looking at their resources right now. Oh, oh they were saving up for a Stormlord, I guess. This is the anti-infantry Baneblade variant. Super heavy tank thing. Will it get onto the field in time? Yes, we'll see. You guys going for a power bash? What are you doing? Just want a quick decap, I suppose. There's the two to one for Fathom. They are indeed going for the VP. It's a ballsy move because they're going to be forced to retreat in a second, and that's going to take them out of the fight for a while. But I guess it's worth it. 
At least Fathom thinks though. There's the decap. I don't think they'll get a cat, but at least the level four. These are the level four guys. Maybe they can tough out. Out, not not with an Emperor's wrath. Ouch. Lucky to get away, maybe. I don't think they are going to get away. It's a lot of firepower down to 80. Lord Kamasai got the hit and down they go. Double cap for Fathom. But it wasn't worth. Surely they had their eyes on those guys. And could see the Emperor's Wrath. Thought they could tough it out. See, the Council goes straight for the Lord Commissar. Get his shield down in seconds, disrupting him all over the place. Storm Lord is going to hit the field very soon. It is going to see some action. Oh, maybe not. It's a 2 to 1 for Fathom. Three VPs left. GG indeed. And yeah, Spicy Havoc should have got some quicker units onto the field, I guess. There it is. Didn't get to see the cool Vulcan Mega Bolt or whatever it's called. But there you have it. Hell of a close game. Fathom was boxed in for ages. What Spider X up was down for like 20 minutes, it felt like. But Wraithguard and Seer Council get it done. Seer Council were awesome. Wraithguard were awesome. The Wraith Lord was awesome as well. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.